glad to be able to do more because things are getting a little bit better when it comes to thrift stores pawn shops. Yeah, pawn shops are growing now, they are getting consoles again, it's not that bad right now. So here me here's here am I being a dumbass. Here's like a few things that show that I'm a dumbass. So anyways. I remember getting this game already, so I got the game again, and sadly it was $4.99, not one book. For coming back, they sure now being bastards, you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, wow, really? It's not one book? Really? Really? You, you don't think it should be one dollar? Why? Why don't you think it should be one dollar? Then I went for this one with this limited edition. I do have this one, but I think the case got destroyed mid-round, so now I gotta copy again. I'm just gonna throw the um, disc only over there with the, uh, the PlayStation 3 that I'm still gonna sell eventually. Yeah, so it's getting a decent, like, here's a bunch of games that'll come with it. Anyways, last but not least is my stupid decisions. <laughs> it's like I should've just kept these on the shelf, but of course, you know, Gotta make sure people don't know. So, as you can see on the price tag, $45. What the fuck? We got Super Mario Party. We got Super Mario Odyssey. And we got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Completely sealed. We also did have Last of Us remastered on PlayStation 4 that was sealed, but it didn't get any closer. Yeah, I don't really care for it. So, <laughs> it's like, yeah, so I don't really care for it when I actually open it. These I'm not going to open because I already have all of them except for Mar Super Mario Party, but I was heard that that's not even officially a good game anyways. Looks like this is actually, it's a little bit, yeah, exposed. But anyways, the yeah, other sealed. The only just the part is like how I'm going to actually get my money back because, well, as you guys can see on the price, they totally are not this much. It would have been great if they had it at 30 bucks. That I can work with. 45, eh, and I don't think I could have had it whatsoever. So, yeah, here's my dumbass mistake, but it's just to make sure that no one else knows that. It's like, yeah, it's a little freaking. Yeah, but still, it kind of sucks where it's like, at one point, they were selling Switch games for $9, even if. Yeah, they were selling, kind of selling it for $9, and it's like, I should have actually went to the the guy and not the girl, it's like, no offense, but it's like, yeah, it seems to me that when it comes straight down to it, unless they're the manager, is that the dudes are mostly, well, I would say 90, 80 to 90 percent of the chance the dudes actually will give me a good hookup, while the girls, however, unless they're down with me, won't give me a good hookup, so it's like, yeah. That's what I get for common courtesy and allowing people to go in front of me when I went out of line and came back in line and it's like, yeah, so it was like, <sighs> consequences of common courtesy. Let's see what I get on Monday.
All right, folks, so I did it again, and I think I definitely will return, most likely, one more time next week. But I found a PlayStation 2 Slim. Holy crap. And it had no price on it. Oh, damn it. And the manager came up, and the manager was like, it's a PS2 Slim. Found it in an Abercrombie bag. And lo and behold, $29, as is. Uh, now, if it was 5 or 10 that's doable. That's doable. 29 you're asking too much. Well, I'm just going to leave it for the next person because I am on their turf. So, whoever is coming to get it, go right ahead. Other than that, I'm good. I'm good. And it had a Me for Speed game in it, too. <laughs> it had a Me for Speed. I think it's Hot for Speed, too. Anyways, I think I'm going to go to that pawn shop right quick and then I'll go home. Guys, it's been a few days. I went back on Monday to two thrift stores and one pawn shop because why not? Yeah, I had some that you already most likely know that there was a PlayStation 2 that could have been grabbed and well, $29. Yeah, anyways, got more CDs, but of course, some of the CDs are hidden with hidden gems. But anyways, yeah, so let me just at least get the ones that matter. You know, for those who care. Yeah, this one's one. So, Crash Warped. Or PlayStation. Oh, wait, PlayStation? Not PlayStation 2. Well, anyways, yeah, so we got that one. Pretty awesome. There we go. I don't think Fergie had it. He had something. Oh, yes, it did. There you go. NBA Live. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's for later. That's for something else. Uh, I think that's mostly everything. That's on here. Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, SpongeBob Super Sponge. And also, it comes with this cover of I don't know what game it is. Wait, hold on. Maybe have it here. Art World Series. Okay. Then after that, it's just basically nothing. But I did get this for free, apparently. So now I have the manual of Scooby Doo and a Spooky Swamp. Yay. That was missing. Let's see. Shaq Diesel. Yeah, I think we're good here. So basically, there's really nothing to show besides just three video games. Wait, this had something in it. Hold on. Alright, never mind. So yeah, so out of all of these, I just had a few video games to actually show. Not bad, though. Not bad. So three video games for one, close to one dollar, basically 90 cents plus tax. Not bad. Yeah. Anyways, let's see what I get on Wednesday. Question mark. Hey guys, it's been a few days, so what I got from my usual thrift store is Uncharted 3, but when we open it, I got Angels and Demons, what the frick, and Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. So there we go. Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog is not doing good these days. My goodness. So I now have a open copy of Uncharted 3. Not bad at all. So, anyways, until next time.